Okay, we are going to uh, look at Google Apps for Education. Uh, in order to get to the Google Apps, uh, log on to SaintsNet and when you scroll down you will see Gmail and Google Apps. Um, the link to Gmail will actually take you directly to your email and the link to Google Apps will take you to your, your documents and uh, we split this out because for teachers who have been using projection uh, they didn't want to click on Gmail and uh, have their mail showing uh, on the projector right away so we split that out so it, you can select either one this will actually take you right to Gmail and this one will take you right to Google Documents and as a Google Apps for Education school uh, there are really two main functions one is uh, communication and the other one is collaboration and uh, there are many many applications built into Google Apps for Education which St. Christopher's is, is a part of. When you log on or when you click on these icons for the very very first time there are some terms of service and uh, it will automatically create your account and all you need to do is accept those terms of service and, uh, and you, will, you will have access to the school's email and I have placed each of you in your respective divisional groups as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll get started by simply clicking on Gmail. The, um, the view is, is pretty straightforward. It's a web-based interface and you'll notice up here at the top you have access to some other features. Uh, you do have access to Google Drive or documents. Um, Google Drive is uh, it's essentially like a Dropbox and uh, I'll talk about how you can utilize Google Drive momentarily. This is the calendar. The school's calendar uh, is, is low. There are many many school calendars that you will need to be a part of and uh, if you find yourself not seeing any of the calendars that are needed for, for you to, to uh, function properly within your division contact your uh, divisional tech coordinator and they can they can help you get the appropriate uh, calendars loaded for you and um, Google Sites is just quickly in a nutshell it is a, a great way to make a class web page or a wiki if you are interested in exploring that um, YouTube we have school accounts built into YouTube as well and you'll notice that you will you will create your your user ID up here in the upper right hand corner based on who you are so you could develop a, a, a YouTube strand for your classes as well to get back into into email though uh, just a couple different things the default view is to have conversations and it essentially lumps these conversations and, and emails together as threads some people really don't like that. There are a variety of settings that you can change by simply click, clicking on the gear and then going to settings. And, and really the, uh, the thing that it, you want to, to manage more than anything else for, for that view is this conversation view right here. So if you were to turn it off, uh, you won't have your, your emails lumped together. There are lots of different things in here that um, may be helpful to you if you want to go ahead and, and look at that at them go right ahead um, the other that you thing that you may want to do is, is add a signature and when you add your signature you just would type that information here and any changes that you do make you're going to want to then uh, hit save changes right here okay you go into Google Drive this is where your documents are stored essentially Google Documents for those of you who are not uh, quite certain uh, it's essentially the Microsoft Office suite that's on on the web and uh, if you do have a school issued computer and you have not uh, done this just yet you may actually see documents here as opposed to Drive uh, what I would encourage you to do is uh, right here is to download Google Drive and follow the steps there and essentially this will take all of your files that are created uh, on on Google Documents 
can uh, can then be stored locally on your computers as well so that you can you can have kind of an offline view and you'll have the most recent view as well in terms of some basic organization uh, Google is a little bit on the sloppy side but there are ways in which you can create folders and you can color code the folders and if you were to select create you'll see the ability to add folders right here and uh, what's really kind of nice is that you can drag and drop files into uh, these various folders that are created as well. To view things differently in this view, uh, in terms of the sort, you can look at last modified, last edited by me, um, to give you a different, a different filter option. And then in terms of the actual view, this kind of gives you a preview of what those documents look like and sometimes that's helpful to, uh, to kind of get a, a peek at what those documents are. And uh, that's it in a nutshell. We will have some additional training sessions for you um, with uh, some specific training for Google Documents and uh, Google and, and Gmail and uh, feel free to ask questions of your tech coordinators as needed. Thanks.